does it feel like to stay organized today, you sometimes need three, maybe even four different apps? Notes, tasks, calendars, it's not very productive. That's why this year I moved to one app to do all of that. It is the thing that manages my YouTube channel, it manages my work, projects and tasks, and even helps me in my personal life. It's not Counselor. But it's actually an app that you told me to try, and that app is Craft. If you run a business, if you work on projects, if you work in the education system, well, today I'm gonna to show you the three specific things that this one app changed. And, well, it's everything. Hey team, I'm Tom, and let's just rewind for a very quick second because I was somebody that was all in on Notion to manage everything for me. In fact, I used Notion, I had Freeform, I used Todoist, I used, God, I can't remember them now. Freeform, Notion, Trello, Todoist, and OneNote, and a little bit of Apple Notes. I changed all of that for a single app called Craft. And today I'm really excited because the team at Craft reached out and they actually gave me access to their most premium version of this app so that I can show you exactly how it can work in your day-to-day -day life. Better yet, hang around for a huge discount thanks to the team. Okay, so let's start with the one thing that convinced me that I only really needed one app. Craft helps you create pages within pages and it's such a simple idea that is, by the way, very pretty to look at. And in Craft, the ability to quickly format your documents yourself or quickly leverage the preset formats to create a compact, structured and elegant experience is beyond anything I've used in any other organizational app and productivity app. If you want to quickly jot things down and you can organize them later to clean up a note, it is this easy. You just select them all and move them into a style and format that works for you. And so the start of my organization is actually these spaces that I've set up for myself. And each space has its own theme, icons and fonts. And with the new sidebar redesign, the tabs and the new tagging system, which they spent ages doing, but I'm glad they released it because it's very helpful. Jumping between projects feels instant. There's no lag, no clutter, and it is a very lightweight app. But what makes the experience really, really helpful is having these very rich blocks from whiteboards, task lists, page separators, images and videos all embedded straight in to any page you create. It's the right level of complexity without anything else in the way. You can either create a document on its own that lives throughout the app, or you can create a specific folder full of those specific documents. And why this is really important is before I had to remember where everything was, what note is where, where did I put that to-do list, what task is this related to? This app has allowed me to centralize all of that into one specific place. The one thing I've definitely noticed though is the page system does limit, I think, the power of some of the tags that I think can be improved, but we'll get onto that in a second because what I want to talk more broadly about the second game changer, the turn craft into a workflow operating system. So this isn't just about storing your ideas, it's about running your day. And the most important pieces is A, the simple daily note system, B, the task system, and C, the cross-platform collaborative nature of the app itself. So each morning I jot down my top three priorities with my daily note. I can link them to projects, add to-dos very simply, and tag what's personal versus what is more work-related. And I keep a daily record of that day. Or I create a to-do list for that day. The block structure actually allows for so much flexibility. For example, I, I really like Trello. I needed a Kanban board to manage my projects. I've created one here. So it tracks every YouTube video from idea to script to editing to upload. It is simple, it is visual, and it is deeply connected. Now, something amazing for you. Thank you for watching so far. Hit subscribe if you liked it, by the way. But they have offered a whopping 50% discount that anyone who follows the link in the description below, you'll go to a page specifically for me with my unique code. You will receive a 50% discount on any of Traft's plans. So let's talk about task management because you can see here when I'm within my daily note, just taking notes down, organizing them, structuring them, you can actually see all of the unfinished tasks that I'm yet to complete. I can add a task through that daily note or manually and based on the deadline or date reference, it can dynamically schedule itself to that specific date. So I don't need to worry about it cluttering up what I'm doing in that moment. One thing I loved about Notion is being able to set things up as long timelines and I could see my production schedule. I can't really do that here, but here is where it gets impressive. 
Craft now acts like it's built into your operating system and jumps straight into actions like adding a new daily note, seeing calendar or added tasks without even opening the app. It's part of what makes Craft feel more like a native part of the ecosystem than just another third party tool. It operates and syncs in near instantaneous across all devices. And trust me, when you've used something like OneNote where syncing can be either instantly or it can take a day for something to update on two different devices, Craft works almost instantly if you're on the web app, on your iPad or any other device. And finally, collaboration. Well, I mean, Collaboration is something that all great workflows need. And I actually found that this massively improved my ability to manage tasks. So if you wanted to work with um, your colleagues, or in my instance, with my wife on our renovation that we're doing on our home, because well, we just had another baby. And so we needed to make stuff like rooms and studies and new studio. This is new, it was done recently. So this is all managed through craft with my partner, a really great collaboration sync. And so once you have all of that running smoothly, it's time to unlock the final thing that this has changed for me, and that is creativity. Most apps make you choose. Do you want creativity, an infinite canvas like Freeform that I've always really loved, or do you want something a bit more structured and organized? Well, the good thing about Craft is it means that you can really do both at the same time. So even within one of my projects, um, for example, me making my YouTube video uh, script outline here, I can also start drawing and sketching out um, ideas for thumbnails, what I should do. And that keeps that creativity all organized and centralized in one find when I have got projects that specifically need a note in it and I want to hand write that note while I'm in a meeting, um, I will use the white wall out notes. It's, um, it's an excellent feature. So is craft perfect? No, it's not quite perfect. Things like the calendar and some of the tagging can still get improved. But is it just so powerful and incredibly beautiful to look at? Yes, it is lightweight, it works really well. And I can see anyone that needs to add a level of organization in a single app this is one of the best out there, and that is why I keep coming back to it. And that's why I'm so proud to have them sponsor one of my videos. And while you're here and you watch this much, why don't you check out another video? We've got loads of other stuff. Great for iPads. Do you like iPads? Check out some of these. Do you like productivity? Check out some of these. Thanks for watching.